Next question. Could the Israel-Hamas war become a multi-front one? Could this current conflict, which has already claimed countless lives, extend its reach to the West Bank? Might it then spill over to Israel's northern border with Lebanon, where the Hezbollah operates? And will this regional crisis escalate beyond proxy fighting to involve countries like Iran, Syria and Yemen? Well, some analysts believe it is not only possible, but increasingly likely. And if they are right, we have a big problem at hand. Just take a look at Israel's map. Fierce shelling is taking place along its volatile borders. Although somewhat dim in comparison to the fighting taking place around Gaza, there have been continued clashes on Israel's northern border. Here, Israel has launched strikes at the Lebanon-based Hezbollah group. The shelling came in response to rocket fire from southern Lebanon into northern Israel. The shelling here has stoked fears of a repeat of 2006. Back then, Israel fought a bloody month-long war with Hezbollah. Hezbollah, as we have told you earlier, is the Shiite group that is committed to the destruction of Israel. The Lebanon-based group has also backed Hamas's attack on Israel. So now the shelling between Israel and Hezbollah in the northern borders has deepened unease over the possibility that the conflict could spread to other fronts. There were signs that this would happen. According to the Institute for the Study of War, an American non-profit research group, Israeli forces currently face a triple threat from militants, specifically those supported by Iran. It's not just Hamas. Israel faces threats from Hezbollah in the north, as I just told you, and Hamas's allies in the West Bank. Militants in neighboring Syria pose another possible threat. The Israeli army reported that it had identified a number of launches from Syria into Israeli territory, making it the first time that fire had been exchanged across that border since fighting erupted on Saturday. The Israeli military stated that the projectiles apparently fell in an open area and they had responded by firing artillery and mortar shells in return. It is becoming clear Israel is not only fighting Hamas around the Gaza Strip but also its allies in Lebanon and Syria. In this backdrop, it is not surprising to see Hezbollah's provocations over the last few days. In the past too, Israel has witnessed this phenomenon of attacks from Lebanon, Syria and even from Iraq during the May 2021 war. Israel also experienced earlier this year rocket fire from Lebanon during the Passover holiday. And then over the summer, there were escalating attacks from Jenin. So far, these attacks in the north have been small, but the slow drumbeat is picking pace, amplifying concerns about a multi-front conflict. So, can diplomacy stop the war? It seems unlikely. The Hamas attack on Saturday has sparked efforts by influential regional states, including Egypt. Turkey and the UAE, they're all trying to avert a destructive escalation. But despite talks, there is little hope for de-escalation. Just look at the figures. Israel has placed more than 100,000 troops near Gaza. More than 300,000 reservists have been called up. And Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu looks set to order a ground invasion soon. Let's not forget the US, the UK allies have all pledged support for Israel. They have vowed to stand shoulder to shoulder with Israel in its efforts to defend itself. The United States in particular has sent its USS Ford Strike Group to the Eastern Mediterranean. It is ready to assist Israel if the need arises. This deployment of America's newest and most advanced nuclear-powered aircraft carrier underscores the seriousness of Washington's commitment. Its capabilities to dwarf anything, anything other than military force in the world, let alone Hamas, or any group. It is an unmistakable warning to Iran and militant groups. Do not dare enter into conflict against Israel. But in response, Iraqi and Yemeni armed groups aligned with Iran have issued a warning. They have threatened to target US interests with missiles and drones if Washington intervenes to support Israel. Like I said, these are telling indicators that the conflict may escalate into additional fronts. Members of the so-called Axis of Resistance, which consists of Iranian-backed factions have issued threats. They are already, they are ready to escalate the conflict to expand across the region. Israel has readied itself for such an explosive scenario over the years. However, on October 7th, it was evident that Israel wasn't that prepared after all. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.